What is going on guys, Tiswabi here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. We're still alive, I still haven't died yet, <laughs> but uh, last time we left off, we were breeding together villagers, multiplying them, and uh, between this episode and last episode, I said I was going to try and like transfer the villagers from that village. I don't even know how many blocks away it was, like what was it, 500, 600 blocks away or something like that? Transfer the villagers from there to here using only minecarts and rails and... Well, I did it. It took me a, a while off camera, but I finally I can did it. And uh, whatever, whatever I was bringing them into here, I, I, I put them down. I put the rails down right here. Pushed the villagers right here. Uh, I did get some comments saying to use a, a mine, mine cart with a furnace, saying to use redstone and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I didn't have redstone there already, so I couldn't make any powered rails or anything like that. Uh, so that kind of sucked. I, I did try the furnace or the mine cart with a furnace. That didn't seem to help very much. It it kind of pushed for like five or six rails and then it stopped <laughs> so I feel like uh, maybe I have to keep like feeding coal slash charcoal into that it's going to be super duper expensive and I didn't I didn't have that much charcoal slash coal to really feed into it you know so I decided just to manually just push them like I did last episode and then we're finally over here uh, but I, I placed the rails down this is the end of where they were and then I was like you know what this is a pretty good place to at least temporarily keep the villagers uh, until we just set them free, you know, because whenever I brought them into here, this this whole entire village, you know, I I, I worked on like surrounding it with with fences and stuff like that. I, I did a pretty decent job, especially in this like expansion area here, surrounding it with fences, you know, making sure zombies and skeletons, creepers, all that kind of stuff can't come into here, especially the zombies, you know, because they'll zombify my villagers, right? Uh, what is that thing? Oh, it's a, it's a weird, like, bush thing in the middle of the path. I might as well get rid of that. But uh, as you can see, I put fences all around the village, all the way leading up to this, like, front end. I know, I just wasted a diamond pick on that. <laughs> all the way up to this front entrance right here, which is amazing. So, uh, I do know that, like, right here... Or is it, like, right here? I think, like, right here and right here. It kind of splits off that way, and there's still villager, like, houses over there. But uh, for right now, I'm just basically closing that off until I can, uh, you know, surround that whole area with fences it's going to be you know safe for the villagers because i don't want to have the area open for villagers when it's not safe you know 100 percent completely safe for the villagers uh we did have a couple instances where like a skeleton spawned in here randomly so hopefully we don't have any vill or uh, any zombie spawning in here and if that happens i'm um, like we do have a brewing stand nowadays might as well go to bed it's getting kind of dark we do have a brewing stand so maybe what we could do is preemptively make some Oh yeah, some regular gold. I don't think we have any apples, right? We're supposed to get those from like oak trees, right? Like, uh, or is it any trees? I, I think it's just oak trees. Well, we we've mainly been cutting down spruce, and then we had a few dark oak and maybe a couple jungle trees here and there. So we haven't really been cutting down like any regular straight up oak trees, you guys. So should should probably go around see if we can find any of those, get some saplings, plant a bunch a bunch of them, cut them down, and maybe get some apples out of them. Because that'd be great, because we do need apples to make a golden apple. I think it's a regular golden apple, not a not a notch apple, uh, to, to cure them. And then a potion of weakness, I think, and of course, splash. But uh, where did we put the brewing stand? Was it inside of here? Uh, yeah, there it is right there. So let's, oh gosh, just griefed this Airbnb, whoops. <laughs> but yeah, I also want to make my own house here too. But uh, for right now, we're, we're going to probably want to make a villager breeding area here. That's probably going to be like one of the first things I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know. I guess I can put it over here. There you go. All right. Oh yeah, and then uh, I think I think right here is where the fences left off, uh, like ended when we last left off, and then I, I expanded them all the way out to here, and uh, it goes all the way down to the end of this road here, because this is just where it ends, anyways. And then of course I have the fences going behind the uh, the villager huts or houses, whatever you want to call them, and it goes all the way over here to our Nether portal, so it's going to be super duper secure inside of here. And then of course, if anything does manage to randomly slip inside of here, I did also want to put some fences at the top just in case anything is able to like fall off the cliff into here, uh, but I ran out of fences, so maybe I'll do that a little bit later. <laughs> but uh, it goes all the way up to here, so hopefully it's gonna prevent, you know, or, uh, zombies from spawning inside of here, and you know, creepers, skeletons, anything else. So that'd be, uh, that'd be good if they didn't spawn in here. But as you can see, we already have some of these guys with like jobs and stuff. I think, I think the, uh, one of the weaponsmiths was still a weaponsmith like the whole way through. And then the rest of them were jobless whenever I was bringing them over here, so if I remember correctly, I think it was this guy. Yep, this is the guy. Because you can see there's 15 coal, the 9 uh, emeralds, 
that we have to trade for this thing. I did get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, it, just, it takes like a few seconds for the, uh, whenever you, you, whenever you like trade with them all the way for them to like level up, you know? So I guess we didn't have to do the, uh, the trade with this iron sword, but whatever. Anyways, four iron ingots for one emerald. That's really good. And then 36 emeralds for one bell. I think we're going to be doing the, uh, the iron to the emerald trade there to try and level them up there, you guys. So let's go, let's go grab some iron. We have a lot of iron, like, uh, I don't know if it's all smelted. We, it might be. Well, we have a lot that's already smelted, so that's good. Let's just grab a full stack. I forget what the exact number was, but uh, as you can see, we actually have two weapon smiths over here. So I'm thinking about doing... Which one was it? Was it the blast furnace? Was it the... I think it was the blast... Uh, there is like a resource, and you guys did uh, tell me. I think it's this, right? You guys didn't tell me like, you know, the special blocks that like turn these guys into having different jobs. Uh, so a librarian is not a bookshelf, it's a lectern. So let's put that blast furnace there, like really close to this guy. So hopefully he's gonna turn into a uh, an armor smith, I think, right? But I think it's lectern for the librarian. I'll probably flash it on the screen right now. And then uh, as you can see right here, we have a a butcher, which is really cool. I don't know what it is for him, but farmer is the compost bin. Fisherman is the barrel. You guys remember those barrels that we have over here that are like empty? I, I assume we can store fish inside of them. Whoop! Oh, look at that parkour around there. <laughs> I guess we can go grab one of those barrels over here if we want to turn one of those guys, yeah, like right here, if we want to turn them into a, a fisherman, but I'm like, I haven't really been doing too much fishing lately, and uh, right now we have one butcher, one farmer, and two weaponsmiths, so uh, once we actually have one of these guys turning, oh, what is this trade soap? That's basically like the same-ish as the other guy, except, you know, trading the emeralds doesn't give you an enchanted sword, it just gives you a regular uh, iron axe, so I guess maybe if I have a lot of extra coal, yeah, let's, let's trade with this guy real quick though. Uh, iron, yes. So let's do that. Straight with him till he levels up. And do one more. Yep, I think that should be it, right? And then wait a few minutes or a few seconds or something like that. And then hopefully he's gonna level up and get his new trays and see what we're gonna get. But that farmer one, definitely wanna go check what he has to offer. And then, of course, I did, uh, between this episode and last episode, you guys remember there were still remnants of, like, the original village's, like, uh, farm area, like, right here. There's Here's the original compost bin. I didn't get rid of it yet because I wanted to keep that guy as a farmer there, you know? So, uh, keeping this thing somewhat close to him. But this area here, I guess we could turn... Either that, or maybe here, because there wasn't a farm area here as well. Oh, there's already a compost bin there, too. Okay, that's good. But there was a farm uh, area here as well. I cleared it out. Maybe we could turn this into, like, a villager breeding house, especially because of how close these guys are. I could just route the rails into the house. You guys already know the deal. Just place down, like, three beds, feed them a bunch of carrots, potatoes, bread, whatever, and then just kind of let them do what they need to do, and then, boom, we'll have a fifth villager kid. Which, by the way... The, uh, the kid villagers over there are, adu uh, are adults now, so maybe I'll go back there a little bit later and uh, do some illegal breeding or something like that, you know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, I was going to go grab some coal, see how much coal I had and treat with that one weaponsmith before he turns into a, uh, an armored guy. So we have a decent amount of coal here, and we have uh, shred up emeralds. Let's, let's, let's actually grab all of our emeralds, just in case there are like trades here that, you know, we could trade emeralds for something rather than something for emeralds, you know? So there's a butcher. Looks like I can kill a bunch of chickens, get emerald, kill some cows, get emerald, and this weapon smith. Okay, so we unlocked another one right there. Oh, he didn't have a discount earlier, and he does now. That's kind of weird. Anyways, he's a journeyman now. 24 flint for one uh, emerald. I do wonder, though, can we still give him XP? Yes, we can. So we can still do the previous trades, like the iron. Two, uh, oh, do I not have enough? Oh, he ran out. He ran out of, uh, for that trade. I guess he doesn't want any more iron ingots. Hmm, okay, well, we can still do the coal trade with him, though, but I want to see what this guy's going to unlock, so let's, let's put a 15 there. Hmm, do we have enough coal for that, though? Because we're going to need, like, five trades. I think we can. Just looking at that little sliver there, it looks like five. So let's try it. Let's, let's put all the coal there, let's get that emerald, and then let's put all the extra coal up there. Okay, there we go. Okay, yep, we had three left over, just like I thought. Okay, so that's good. And then we're going to wait a little while for him to- there we go, boom. Oh, it's the same trades! It's the exact same stuff! For, uh, iron for an emerald? 36 for a bell? Oh, this guy ran out of, like, everything. Whoa, what? Oh, no, 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 those are discounts. No, uh, yeah, those are discounts. He's giving me a discount. Man, I, I mis misinterpreted that, so... Maybe we can give him iron now? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's still out of, uh, out of that trade. Yeah, I forgot about that. But we have flint, probably. So it was like, what was it, 23 flint for, like, one emerald or something like that? I suppose we can go see how much flint we have, you know? Oh, yeah, I wanted to go see the, uh, the farmer guy. Keep forgetting about that guy. But, uh, oh, we only have eight flint. Ah, that's nothing. 
How much, uh, I probably cooked all the chicken and stuff. Yeah, we've cooked chicken there, cooked beef, and I just finished cooking a bunch of beef as well. And, uh, cooking some chicken, too. Golly. Oh yeah, and then you can see right here, uh, that's the smoke. I probably could've used a smoke or whatever, I forgot about it. <laughs> but, but I've been using spruce trap doors because on the sides of the, uh, original village's, like, farm area, there were a bunch of trap doors, so I just decided to use it as, like, a fuel for the furnaces, you know? So that's pretty cool. I guess we'll see what other, uh, trays that one guy wants. He still hasn't turned into a, uh, into a whatever. I don't even know what's turning this guy into a, uh, weapon smith. I'm keeping him as one. Maybe it's harder for them to lose their job whenever you trade with them. Which, in that sense, I guess this guy's gonna be forever a, uh, weapon smith. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I suppose what we could do, because we have a lot of wood here for me cutting down a literal forest right here. <laughs> I guess what we could do is start building their breeding house. So maybe I'll grab, like, half of that, turn it into spruce, uh, planks. And then, of course, I could use the spruce logs to add a little bit of variation to the building here, you know? But, uh, I guess we can get rid of this corner here. That way we can have a, a flush corner with this fence right here. I need to make another shovel. My shovel broke. Uh, so I need to craft another one, unfortunately. But, uh, thankfully I don't think we're going to need a shovel. Uh, now that I think about it, yeah, having a shovel would, would actually be pretty good. And I do have iron in my inventory randomly, so that'd be great. So let's actually get ourselves some stickaroos. And there we go. Let's get ourselves an iron shovel. Just because... Just because I do want to, like, kind of dig out the, the ground and actually place down a foundation. Maybe right now I'll just move the compost bin and move this thing over. Just temporarily. Hopefully, uh, they don't lose their second jobs. Although we've already seen from previous episodes, it seems like it takes them a little bit longer than instantly for them to, to change into a jobless villager, right? But for right now, I suppose what we would do is maybe use this corner as, like, a, a cornerstone, I guess you could say, for building this, this breeding building. <laughs> Anyways, so there's one... Uh, oh yeah, because this is going to be the corner. I don't need to actually dig this out. So, let me just grab that back. Whoops. <laughs> but, uh, right there on the corner, of course, we're going to be using spruce logs, just because why not? I guess what we could do is instead of, yeah, using cobblestone, that way it kind of matches and it bl Well, hold on. What does it look like over here? Looks like some- it looks like they use a mix of both cobblestone and planks? Hold on. How's this guy's place look? Yeah, this one does. As like an entrance sort of thing, but... Like, the main part of the house is cobblestone. Okay, so let's actually follow that, like, design philosophy, I guess you could call it. So, there's that, like, cornerstone there. Let's start digging here, so we're gonna have one. And remember, we're gonna have to have room for, uh, three beds, and, of course, room to actually place them down with the, uh, like, roll them into here with the minecarts and stuff. Maybe we're gonna have... Maybe these guys are always gonna be in minecarts, but their kids are gonna be free roam villagers. That way it's super easy for us to, like, breed them whenever we need to, you know? That'd be- that'd be something. Okay. So if that's the case, we're gonna to wanna to make this like an- an e uh, not an even, but an odd width. So, let's see. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. That sounds good. So let's make this go all the way back here. And how big is this looking? Uh, yeah, we could put a bed here, a bed here, and a bed here. And then have all this room here for whatever else I wanna do, you know? So it looks like we have enough room, or I guess we could just place all the three beds like right next to each other, like what's stopping us, right? But uh, seems like this is plenty of room right here, you guys. Noise. All right, well, let's place down the, uh, there you go. And there you go. And just to kind of, there you go. Just kind of know where I'm going to be putting the corners here. Then what does the, the floor of the villager places look? I guess for right now, I'll just go to bed real quick. Oh yeah, I need to eat some more of this cooked salmon. I'm actually starting to eat through, literally eat through <laughs> our massive supply of, uh, foods and stuff that I've been just kind of accumulating. And once again, I forgot to look what the, uh, the farmer guy wants for his trades. Golly, I need to, I need to, <laughs> let's just go. Just forget about what we're doing, forget about building the breeding house. Let's go see what the farmer villager wants, because we may be able to level them up pretty easily, because we do have this farm over here, and I just harvested it right before I, uh, started the episode. So let's see, the farmer villager, what do you want? 26 raw potatoes for an emerald, and 15 beetroots for, isn't that, ah, it's been a while. Isn't that cheaper than what the original farmer villager here wanted? Didn't he want like 20 or something like that beetroot? But we have a lot. We have a lot of beetroot right there and a lot of raw potatoes too. A lot of raw potato. Holy heck. I just cooked a whole stack of uh, baked potatoes earlier on off camera, so kind of surprised I still have this many. That's awesome. Oh yeah, he wants uh, Let's do the beetroots because he needs 15. Let's do that. Let's put a bunch of heck of beetroots here. Oh, can you not just use that as like an extra stack? I guess not. All right, let's do enough to level him up to the next level. We don't need to do it. Oh, there you go. Is that enough? Looks full to me. Alright, let's just wait a second for him to unlock his next trades, but for right now, let's see. Oh, look at that, he's glowing, so I think his next trades are ready. What about this, uh, these other guys here? Yeah, I... 32 emeralds to do the, uh, the bell. We already have a bell up there, so I don't think we need that. 
I could do the Nine Emeralds for the Iron Sword again. Mm, although I feel like doing the, uh, the, the coal. I could go on a quick mining trip off camera, grab a bunch of coal, and then I'll be good to go. Because we do have a slight discount there. 14 instead of 15, so that's good. Uh, let's see what this guy wants. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So now we can get the apples. I don't even need to make the, uh, to get the tree. Oh, that don't, that barely does a, uh, any XP for him. Oh, yeah. But we have 12 right there. Let's get 16. That's a good number. I like that. And we can get some pumpkin pie from him as well, which is awesome. But we can continue to trade with him. So, hey, there's, uh, here's two more trades. There you go. And two more trades right there. Get give more of those emeralds back. And I suppose we could do some potatoes. I just have so many potatoes, you know, so there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. You, you, I'm barely doing any XP for him on this one. Man, that sucks. There you go. There's another emerald right there. Here's more. I get potatoes for you, Ada. There you go. And uh, let's see if I can do one more. Yep, I can, and boom. Man. Yeah, this farmer guy's going to take quite a while to level him up, you guys. Huh. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to continue to dig this out here and try. Oh, yeah, let's see what the inside of the. Uh, the villages look like the villager huts or villager houses look like just so I can build a floor here But we already know that the uh, the sides of it needs to be cobblestone. That's dirt. Here's some cobblestone right here So that's good. We could use that get rid of the planks just because I'm not gonna be using planks And here's another stack of cobbledy cobble right there noise and it, it kind of goes in a bit, right? Ah, I need to get a better look at this, but I think it kind of goes in where the, like the the corner logs are like that But the cobble is kind of like this Where it's like this, you know? I think so. Yeah, it's definitely like that. Yeah, look at that. So that's interesting. Hmm. Exactly. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Ah, oh, man, if that's the case, yeah, I, I dug this uh, a little bit too... Uh, there we go. So I need to place these back down, I suppose. And this is going to be slightly smaller than anticipated, but... There we go. So this is what the, uh, the core of the house looks like, I guess you could call it. So there's that. And then there's the entrance right here. And what does the entrance actually look like for these? Just so I can have it. Oh yeah, and then there's like random, random moss stone here and there, you know? I might have to go into the, uh, to the spruce forest, find some, uh, random, like, cause there are random, like, moss stone, like, like, boulders, I guess you could call them, that are just on the ground. I might, oh, there's the chocolate, uh, sheep right there, you guys. That's pretty cool. He made his way all the way across the river. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, you guys already know, right? The, uh... And if I, yeah, like right there. Moss stone right there. Okay, let's mix in some of those just randomly. Just kind of make it fit in with the, the design philosophy <laughs> of the uh, of the rest of the village, right? Just to kind of make it match. And I guess it, it kind of suck, but I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to do the same thing for my house. I'm going to make my house stick out like a sore I can thumb with the heck of dark oak. Whenever that's going to be, if ever, right? Am I going to survive that long? I don't know. <laughs> but we have a little bit of moss stone I could use here. Uh, oh man, I really need to clean up this area if I want to open this up to the villagers, you guys. Holy heck. But uh, let's try and... Whoop! There you go. Not die. There you go. Nice. Didn't die right there. <laughs> so that's good. I'll, I'll mix in the, the moss after the fact. Uh, oh gosh, I forgot to check. What the inside of their houses look like? Is it cobble? Or is it plank? It's probably planks. No, it is co Well, that one's cobble. It might just be a one-off. Oh gosh. I'll take minimal fall damage. Yeah, half a heart. That's nothing. Yeah, it is cobble. Okay. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're not digging straight into the ground, though, like I am. Well, this one is. Oh, yeah, I guess we could do, like, a, a plank, like, entrance, kind of like what we have right there. If, if there's room. Maybe. I think there might be room here. Hold on. Ah, we put the planks up, didn't we? Yeah, let's, let's grab a few. Not too many. But we could put a, uh, an entrance here. There we go. And we just kind of have that for the villagers. And there we go. All right, noise. All right, well, well, let me just continue building, like, the core of the, the villager house real quick. And there we go. I think the core is done there. I have a little bit of extra cobblestone left over. That's good, because we need that for the actual floor. And, of course, we'll get a little bit of cobblestone back once we replace some of it with the moss stone. But there's that. Let's actually get some windows here. So, might want to do a double wide window there. Double wide window there. Although, you know, you'd, you'd probably want some privacy in a, in a place like this, right? <laughs> but, uh, oh gosh, how is this going? Can I fit a window here? I can. I can put a window here. Okay, let's do that. This will be pretty cool. Oh wait, that's the corner. How did I do it? Yeah, I was right. Okay, I was right next to the door doorway. Okay, so there we go. We need to go smelt some glass. I don't think we have like any egg in glass right now, you guys. Like at all. <laughs> that's kind of surprising. I think we're going to leave it as a three tall right now. So that'll be pretty good. Let me get to the top of this though. Uh, oh yeah, what does their ceilings look like? Hold on. Let me see what their ceilings look like, like from the inside. 
And okay, so there is like no ceiling. It's just, it's just straight up the roof. Although this one kind of has like a weird chandelier thing if you think about it, right? So that's kind of interesting, kind of unique. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try and mimic that, but I think I'm going to need to uh, to place down the actual roof though, so I may I may use this opportunity to just pause the recording, work on the roof, because you guys already know about me and my heckin' roofs, like usually I don't even do the heckin' roof ever, the roof is like the last thing I ever do when building a house, right? <laughs> it's basically become a meme, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try and mimic the, the same like design of, of the rest of the village here for this roof, and uh, hopefully make it match pretty well. And of course, I'm going to start smelting some uh, some sand if I have some, and get some glass panes going on over here. And then, of course, maybe we'll just have to uh, build like rails going into here, and then we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, let's go place down the beds. How many? Be oh yeah, let's just, let's just go shear the sheep. We have a literal sheep over here, like an actual sheep farm. So let's just. Oh, never mind. We already have tons of hacking wool there. That's good. <laughs> All right, let's go make three beds real quick. Uh, now we can dye them because I, I it'd be kind of weird if we just had plain. We have random dye over here. I'm like, we have peonies right there. How would you pronounce that? So we could use that for, I think, what was it, pink or something like that? Uh, there's purple. Although purple is pretty... I guess we could use purple, green, and maybe lapis for a blue. Or maybe we could do a red and a green and a blue. That seems pretty good. I'd say so. Let's let's do a red, green, and blue meme here. So we're going to need... Uh, do I have roses here, randomly? Or, uh, or poppies? Yeah, I do. So there we go. Uh, I think... Don't rose bushes give you a... Uh, but I'm, oh yeah, I put my lapis over here for the enchanting stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go grab a lapis. And then uh, we should be able to dye stuff with the wool. Uh, well, if that's the case, I might as well just dye a sheep. And, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm like, we have a bunch of, like, white, I think we have, like, maybe one or two gray sheep in there. So I might as well actually just dye the sheep, and then shear them, and then get the, uh, get the colored wool en masse that way. Let's put up the, uh, the emeralds, our inventory's starting to get flooded over here, sheesh. <laughs> let's put up the, uh, extra wool of, uh, yeah. And I think it's gonna be great, you guys. We're gonna have, uh, some colored sheep over here, we're gonna have a cool little rainbow going on. And, of course, we're gonna have to add more colors here in the future. Just so we have every color kind of down, like if I ever want like a, a purple sheep or a, a purple wool, then I just come over here and shear the, the purple sheep. I don't have to like dye it or anything like that. And of course I do know you could do the Yeb thing, uh, naming one of these guys like Jeb underscore or underscore Jeb, however it goes. And then uh, you, you of course get, uh, oh wait, didn't we get three? Yeah, we did get three lime green wool, wool right there, so that's good. So same thing with the blue, that's awesome. All right, now we just have to wait for the red one to eat grow its wool back, and then we'll be able to make it a heckin' red bed, just kinda, I guess, like a default bed from, like, older Minecraft, you know, so that'd be pretty cool. But for right now, let's make the, uh, the other one, so the green and the blue. So, yep, there you go, or the lime. There we go, so there's the lime bed, there's the blue bed, and we're gonna be working on the red bed. I don't know if we have any red wool, or red dyed wool already. Oh yeah, speaking of blue, we have a blue bed right there, and that's pretty cool. And another one right there, man! I probably could have saved some resources, but whatever. At least now we have a blue sheep, right? I'd say it's worth it in the end. <laughs> blue sheep's pretty cool. A lot less boring than a white sheep, because we have, like, literal dozens of white sheep, right? Uh, has the, I don't... I see the blue one's already regrown. Oh, there we go. There's the red one. Not, oh, he only gave us one more again! How much did the blue one... Ah, uh, the blue one gave us two right there. Noise. Uh, I guess I have to wait for the red one to give me another heckin' wool. But, uh, I guess I'll just do that off-camera, because I did say I wanted to work on the roof off-camera. But for right now, before I pause the recording, let me just place down the, uh, the three beds over here, so I suppose... Uh, where should I put them? I guess I'll put them here. There you go, so there's the blue. And then red we can put here in the middle. And then, right how am I gonna do this? So... If I'm gonna have rails here... How am I gonna close this without having to... I guess just place down blocks and basically close it like... Or an iron door. Let's do an iron door. Although, if I did an iron door, I'd still have to get rid of the iron door to place the rails inside here, right? Hmm. So it'd be, it'd be kind of pointless. I might as well just place down, like, cobblestone blocks or something like that, right? Yeah, man, I don't know what to do. Speaking of cobblestone, I do believe... Oh, gosh. Did not mean to do that. Uh, I do want to put a cobble to cobble right there, just so it kind of matches. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to have a red bed there in the middle. And uh, hopefully it's going to be enough room for the uh, for the villagers to do what they need to do, you know? <laughs> and hopefully these other villagers, hopefully them being, like, this close... Hopefully it doesn't, like, impede on the villagers inside doing what they need to do. So hopefully I don't have to, like, move them, like, over here or anything like that, because I'll have to, like, get rid of this little path, and then, then uh, I guess I have to wait for the grass to grow on it, and then right-click with a shovel, and then get, and make it look like a path again. It'll be all kinds of work of waiting, right? <laughs> Speaking of waiting, I'm going to be pausing and recording real quick, working on the roof over there like I originally said, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and I've got the house completely done right now. I don't really 
too finished with this bit here. I tried to get a little bit creative with like stairs and stuff. I don't know if I like it too much. I might get rid of that little upside down stair. Maybe I'll keep this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this little bit right here, but uh, maybe I'll make it out of logs instead. Maybe it doesn't fit too well being planks, but uh, this is what it looks like right now. I tried to make it... <sighs> Try to make it match the other houses as much as I can and uh, we had like the logs on the corners and stuff I just had to move them inwards a little bit right here and that way it kind of fits in a little bit better And then uh, same thing like right here moved it inwards a little bit that way It's not straight up on the corner, but uh, also placed down a bunch of torches also made uh, glass panes Like I said, I wanted to do I actually moved the villagers from here. They were like uh, like this and then I moved them over here like this that way if I want to you know if I want to breed two villagers All I have to do is just take this down and then place down like one rail and then boom just put them into here And then we're good to go <laughs> So I kind of want to test that out. Oh, and by the way Yeah, over here place down the uh, the blast furnace the uh, the, the compost bin and the cartography table That's that's something I want to get I want to get a cartographer like Kid villager. Whenever we actually get a kid villager here in just a moment. So, uh, because I, I did see a comment saying, hey, whenever you have a cartographer, there's a chance that you'll be able to trade and get a buried treasure map from him. So that'd be really cool if we can get even more adventures. We can just get, uh, just from trading with a villager, you know? It's pretty easy, right? So, uh, I guess I put up some of the random trash right there. So what were we about to do? I think we're about to... Yeah, let's grab some uh, some rails. I think we're about to breed these guys. You guys only like... So we're finally going to, we're going to be breeding these guys for the very first time here in our village. Let's see if it works successfully. Let's grab some carrots, some potatoes, some other stuff like that. We got a whole stack of carrots right there. Don't mind if I can do. Now, I think it was 16 carrots or something like that. I don't want to give these guys too much, so just get a half a stack right there, and then I'll split it a little bit later. But for right now, let's break this. Place this one rail here. Push these guys into here. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. You stay back, farmer villager. We don't need you right now. <laughs> we need to have a little bit of privacy at least, right? Golly. So, uh, there we go. And, of course, we're going to need to, uh, there we go. We're going to need to, like, patch this thing up here with, uh, with something. So, I don't know. We can get, uh, maybe, like, dirt or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I can be inside while, we, while these guys are doing what they need to do, right? So, let me just, uh, there you go. Let me just get rid of this block right there. Place down a dirt. And then now we can get them out of the minecarts. So, there you go. So, now we're just kind of hanging out. Did this guy turn into a uh, Mason? Why is he a mason? What? Oh, did the blast furnace turn him into a mason? If that's the case, what what turned uh, that one guy into an armorer? Unless maybe the blast furnace didn't turn this guy into a mason, maybe it was something else. I don't know. Let me. Oh god, I'm gonna have to look at that little little. Yeah, let me just look at it right now. I might as well just take and look at it. I keep on talking about it, right? Golly, let me look at that one uh, that one resource that tells you like what each block does for like villager jobs. Okay, I've got the I've got the list right now, so. Butcher is smoker, so that guy that guy must have detected my smoker from far away and uh, turned himself into a smoker. Mason is stone cutter. Okay, so we, I think, isn't that the uh, the little thing that has like the big like saw blade spinning over there, right? So I guess he detected that thing from quite a distance and turned himself into a uh, into a mason. So that's kind of interesting. But we need to now give these guys a stack of carrots apiece, I assume. So there you go. You get a stack or half or a quarter stack. You get a quarter stack. Yes, okay. Now now the hearts are coming out. Let me just let's just leave them alone. Oh yeah, there's three uh beds in here. How many beds are at the rest of the village though? I never counted. I, I did earlier, but uh are they are they done? Oh yeah, by the way, I, I placed down some uh, some lanterns right here. So now, oh it worked! We have a kid! Oh uh, so I don't know if we have any beds. I guess it's just beds nearby and not like in the whole village. So, I guess because we have three beds in this, like, very close area right here, that's all we need to breed these guys. We don't need to have, like, yeah, five beds. Because we have four, or, uh, four villagers right now before the kid. We didn't need to have five beds in the whole, well, I guess, yeah, we probably do have five beds in the whole village now, right? We have one in our Airbnb. We have three right here. We probably have, like, one or two extras up there. Okay, I guess either way that, that would work in the end, right? So that's good to know. Anyways, now... And we've got the kid villager here. Hopefully he's going to grow up. Uh, what was it, like 20 minutes, I said? Uh, two or three episodes ago? That apparently these guys uh, grow up in just 20 minutes. So it shouldn't... Oh, gosh. I don't want the kid to get in the minecart. I want the adults to get back in the minecart. And then, uh... Oh, yeah. I'm going to, like, shuffle these guys around. And that way we... Oh, man. Come on. Get in the heck and... Oh, my gosh. Well, this is going to be... Oh, there... Okay. One of them's in the minecart. Or in a minecart. Now I just need this other guy to get into a minecart. And there we go. Okay, they're both in minecarts. Nice. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to have to think this through a little bit better, you guys. Hold on, let me, let me, there you go. <laughs> let 
Let me push you guys off to the side just a little bit. There we go. I think I think this should work. There we go. So now we've got one kid there. I don't even need a uh, a mine. Yeah, I don't even need a track right there. I can just push him over that little bit right there, right? <laughs> but there we go. So these guys have uh, have breeded. So that's good. Uh, now I can get rid of these. Place them back over here. So there we go. And how am I gonna shuffle these guys around? Hmm. Exactly. Huh. And huh. All right, I think I think we've solved something here, but uh, I, I'm going to need to figure out a more uh, a better method than this, you guys. <laughs> but for right now, we just uh, there you go. You guys hang out there now. Oh gosh, nope, nope, nope. Dirt. There you go. Could have used cobblestone, but whatever. Speaking of cobble, let's get rid of these now, and uh, I guess we can breathe the uh, the other two villagers, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hopefully they're gonna be just fine. But uh, now we have that kid. He's outside. I saw he was outside the villager breeding house right there. So hopefully he's not inside the breeding house anymore, but yeah, there's there's these guys right there. They're just kind of- yeah, Oh gosh, he is! Man, get out of here, kid! You're, you're too young for this! Oh my gosh! Well, the other one, the heck, it escaped! Ugh, let's go grab a- oh wait, I have the- yeah, I already have 32 carrots in my inventory still, so that's good. I guess we could try and myth bust. <laughs> is, it, is it fine if a heckin' kid villager is in there while we try and do the, the breeding process, if you will? Let's see. So, uh, there you go. Alright, now we can take these guys out of the minecarts. There's got to be a more efficient way than this, uh, but this 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 seems to work. So uh, let's see. That guy's a weapon smith. Yep, that guy's a farmer. So that's good. Uh, so kid, I'm going to need you to close your eyes and uh, play. We're playing hide and seek. That's what we're doing. Yeah, close your eyes and count to like a billion. Okay, and there you go. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so they sucked up the carrots. Okay, yeah. Look at just look at me, kid. Just look at me. Oh wait, did they? I think one of them sucked- or did the kid suck up the carrots? Uh-oh. Hold on, I'm going to need to go grab some more carrots, guys. Uh, I need to make sure these guys do not escape. Golly, hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys better- Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Let's grab some more eggs carrots, I'm just- uh, Man. Yeah, I probably should have thought about that. Yeah, the kid probably picked up some of the carrots right there. But I do have a lot of a lot of uh, carrots, so let's just grab those bad boys. Then I'll just throw another, like, quarter stack down, that'll be good to go, hopefully. Okay, they're not gonna escape. Yes, there you go. Whew. Don't need to come up with a better, uh... Oh, yeah, they can't use fence gates, can they? I guess I could do a fence gate here, but I have to place it down and, and then break it every now and then. But whatever, let me let me just get a... There you go, and then quarter stack. I don't know which one needs it, but uh, there you go. Someone take it. Hopefully, uh, I'm just gonna start... Oh, man, okay, the farmer took that. Let me give you a quarter stack then. Is that going to be good? You pick it up? I think so. Maybe. I don't know, I, th I think the kid is uh, preventing this from happening, you guys. Hold on, oh gosh! Oh wait, no, never mind! Oh, I just picked up some carrots! I just picked up eight carrots randomly! Hey, don't mind if I- Well, I do see the hearts coming out, so, uh, hey kid, what are you doing? How, how, how's school? You have homework or something? Cause, uh, just, just look at me. Just look at me, cause you're, you're gonna have a friend, you're gonna have a brother or cousin or something, here very shortly. Stop looking over there, kid! <laughs> oh my- oh wait! Are they- Wait, hold on. Did it not work? Wait, do they need more carrots? Because I picked up the carrots there. I feel like that might have interfered. Hold on, let me just spam this down. Just spam down carrots all over that place. There you go. Just cr all, all these guys are doing is just trading carrots, kid. I just need you to just... Don't pay any attention. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I, I really do feel like... Oh yeah! There's three beds in here. One kid villager. I guess technically we'd need four... Oh gosh, he's, now he's sleeping! What?! Oh, it's- oh, okay, it's, it's nighttime right now. Okay, I'm going to go to bed, too. Uh, oh my god, how are they in bed? Hacks? <laughs> Look at him, he's kicking the kid, like, right in the face, he's pushing him off the bed. Hey, get off the bed there. Come on, let me- let me go to bed. Come on, they're going to bed so early. I can't even- they're going so early that I can't even go to bed. Come on! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 I'm going to go to bed, Hada, you better stay out of there. I don't even have an extra one in my inventory. There we go. Hey! <laughs> Oh, looks like you're going to sleep standing up there, villager guy. And there you go. Noise. Golly, do I have to get more heckin' carrots? What about the second kid? What am I going to do with him? How do I get him out of here? I guess I could do the, uh, let's do a minecart. Let's see if we can push the, push the kid into the minecart and take him out that way. Come on, get in the minecart, kid. You want to have some fun? It's a roller coaster. Come on. Oh my god. Yes! Wow, that was easy. Now, I need to make sure the heckin' adult villagers do not come out. So, uh... We just, uh, there you go, and, uh, there we go. Oh, gosh! Whoops, that didn't go with the plan. 
Okay, well, the, the, the villagers can't come out now, so that's good. We've got a dirt block blocking that, so that's great. Let's push the kid out of there. There you go. Get out of there, kid. Jeez. Privacy. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, I'm going to go have some more carrot slash potatoes now. Man. Ah, well, hopefully that kid grows up pretty soon. I don't know how long it's been that he's uh, been around, so... Uh, do I not have... Oh, I traded all my potatoes. I guess I can make some bread. I do have a little bit of wheat right there, so I suppose I can make some bread. What do we need, like three bread or something like that? So let's grab some bread. We can make six. That's good enough. And uh, yeah, we have 22 carrots. So that's good. Hopefully the other villagers being like right there. Hopefully that doesn't actually interfere. But I'm going to have to place down the dirt here. There you go. And uh, just spam down a bunch of carrots and bread. Hopefully this works. There we go. Hopefully you guys start, you know, trading if you catch my drip. Yes! Yes, it's working! Look at that, they're trading! Whoa, these villagers love each other so much that they're trading carrots with each other. <laughs> I'm like, that's basically what they're doing, right? Uh, you hear that, YouTube advertisers? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to- Oh, wait, whoa, what was that? Oh, is it because of me? Because they, they had, like, a frustration little thing right there, and then started looking at me. Hmm. Okay, well, if that's the case... Uh, how did that, why did it work that first time then? Huh, I have no idea. Anyways, this episode is getting pretty long right here, you guys. If you guys have any idea what happened right there, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to have to end the episode right now. Holy heck. So, uh, man, we got a pretty good amount of progress done both off camera be between this episode and last episode. And, of course, on camera, making this brand new villager breeding house. So that's pretty awesome. That's a pretty good progress there. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to have to free the kid out of there. So uh, I'll probably worry about that a little bit later. But for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore where we're going to continue to repopulate this village. And it seems like we have a pretty solid way of repopulating the village now that we have villagers and a villager breeding house. So that's awesome. We should get the villager numbers back up super duper quickly now. So that's going to be great. But uh, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Oh, bye there.